Xena, a warthog princess, and welcome to a gigantic Jujube haul. Um, this one comes mostly from Jujube and or Tokidoki um, dot coms, the, the primaries, but also it comes from eBay and Amazon a little bit. So, but it's all new stuff. Here goes the first item is a super beat, because y'all know I've fallen in love with the super bees. This is an older pattern, but one that I have been collecting, and it is the Geo pattern. So when you look at it up close, you can kind of see, obviously it's just black and white lines of sorts, but you have squares and rectangles, or if you like let your eyes refocus, you can see an X. Um, you can also, when you refocus now, you see a circles. So it's a really nifty, like illusionary type pattern. So I just find it very fascinating. Yeah, like right now I'm looking down at it and I see the X's with circles and diamonds. And when I'm looking at it this way, I'm seeing squares and rectangles. Yeah, super cool. Okay, but um, we'll go over the, the bag itself next because I have another one. <laughs> <clears throat> now this one is a World of Warcraft pattern. It is... Um, March of the Murlocs it comes with a little sticker as well and um, it's kind of coming off and it's very tangled let me just leave that okay but the super bee is a big tote right so March of the Murlocs it's a geometric pattern with these characters you can see um, but it's underwater themed it's bright colored um, and even though I don't typically like light colored backgrounds it works because it's jujube, it's Teflon coated, it's washable, it's totally great. So hopefully uh, it will wear well even though it's light colored. But I thought this could tie in potentially with some of my actual like sort of Vera C patterns. Anyways, we'll see. I haven't seen them side by side yet, but if it works, you'll see more of it. If it doesn't, it probably won't. But anyway, okay. Um, so the, the, the Super B has Three pockets on the front, two big ones that go all the way down, which you can fit a full-size wine bottle in. Um, and the inside of this is a bold purple, which also drew me in. Um, the middle pocket on these is a zipper pocket, and it is sort of supposed to be your tech pocket. So it goes about this far down, and it does fit your phone really nicely. So if you chose to do that, or your sunglasses, or your wallet maybe, depending. And there are no pockets um, on the sides, but there is a big, big pocket on the back and it's a snap closure, one snap in the middle, but it runs the full size of the bag. There you go. And then inside the bag, it is a very slouchy bag too. If you haven't seen this, you know, you can just fold it up and it's basically um, a packable because it's, it's so flimsy, which is just great. It's part of what I love about it. I don't always love that in a bag, but on some bags, it's good. Um, all right, so it does have the flap type closure and look at that purple. Uh, you have the cute but deadly, you have the World of Warcraft symbol, and then you have little seashells in the pattern. I do love purple. Woo. And it's a really stark contrast to the outside, but I don't mind it at all. Okay, so inside you have two big mesh pockets. You have a key lanyard. It's not bungee, but it's secure, and then a clip on the end. And on the opposite side, you have a privacy pocket, and you also have this cute little embroidery. Um, it looks like one of the Murlocs, maybe? Yeah, so I don't know World of Warcraft. I've never played the game, but I've heard that these little Murlocs here, that they're not so cute in the game, and they're just kind of like little nuisance player things. Not, not players, but that the players has to work through. But I don't know that firsthand because I've never played the game. I just thought it was cute. Okay, along the lines of cute, um, you know, no, I like Hello Kitty. It's not my number one favorite. I think it's super adorable, but I'm 49 years old, so it's not my go-to pattern, but I figured if I had just a few items in it that I could have some fun with it and enjoy Hello Kitty because it's timeless, really. And I grew up with it and I have nieces, so. I decided that I would get it, and if I didn't keep it, it has a perfect outlet for someone's birthday or Christmas or whatever. But anyway, this is the Jujube Sanrio, so the Hello Kitty 
Um, be cool, which is, it's like a lunch bag, if you will, or a bottle bag, you can, it's insulated. You have a slip pocket on the front. This is Hello Kitty Bakery pattern with the pinks and purples. And then it has a single zipper on this version. The zipper pull is a little Hello Kitty head. Super cute with the bling and the bow. Um, but it zips up and around, and you can see it zips over the back there. And the inside is a born gray, which is kind of disappointing. I thought it would be pink or purple or I don't know, but I, I think that's just because of the insulation, perhaps. I don't really, this is my only be cool I've ever had. I wish I was cool right now, I don't know. I just walked the dog and now I'm all sweaty. Um, it does come with like a shoulder crossbody strap, a little seat belt strap, essentially. It clips on and off and it is adjustable. And there's your strap loops on the side. So you could use the strap, you could not use the strap. You can use it by itself. You can use it inside other bags. You could clip your own things on here, which we'll get to later because I got, I got a bunch of clippy things. Um, yeah. So if you were to count item by item, this is by far my biggest haul, but a lot of martini items, so we won't count them individually. But anyways. Uh, yeah, so there's a sticker. And I am going to go around and collect all the stickers off of my bags because I'm going to put them all in one book. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm sweating. Okay, so Jujubee Toki Doki, changing gears a little bit. Um, I really fell in love with the Sea Punk. Uh, this is underwater thing. I'm totally on a kick this year. Maybe because I'm supposed to have been cruising last year a whole bunch of times and I didn't go on a single one. Yeah, maybe that's why I have water on the brain. But anyway, this is the Fuel Cell, which is a very versatile piece. It's, you know, a medium size organizing thing if you want, like in your larger bags. Um, it does have a double zipper pull, a handle on top, and the handle has a loop on, and a clip, but the other end is sewn on. I'm not sure why both ends aren't either connected or disconnectable. Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure there's a reason. But I know you can, you know, you can clip it around something and then hook it on itself, or you can just use it as a handle, which I will totally just do. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. It's a cylindrical shape. And when you open this up, it zips around and the top opens. And <laughs> there's some bold pink and white stripes for you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of flimsy in the middle, but it has a little structure to it. It has a clear zipper pocket on the top. And it has just a little bit of insulation to it. So <clears throat> I think not as much insulated as the Be Cool, but like maybe if you wanted to go on a trip, you can put like dry snack stuff in here and your stuff that you want to keep cold in there or, you know, any mix therein. You can do it however you want. And then when you want to store it, you can just fold it flat down on itself or you can tilt the back and then tilt the front. Anyways, it's just getting tossed in the pile for the moment. Okay, <clears throat> speaking of Sea Punk, I've got a couple more items. I have, um, you've seen my Hobo Bees probably, and I just got another one, but this one is in Sea Punk. Um, I, I debated about this because I love the Sea Punk pattern, and I love the Hobo Bee, but I didn't want to seem like overly childish carrying around a character purse. But then I came and I said, you know what, I don't care what people think. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, and now I have a bunch of accessories to go with it. So here's the Hobo Bee in Sea Punk. And you see all the cute little characters. It's got the Myrmicorns. It's got Donatella right there in the middle. But yeah, so yeah, there's Latte. Uh, Pirate Taco, Pirate Taco, I don't know how you say his name, the octopus pirate guy. Yeah, so here's the front of it. You got, uh, you can see there's a little pattern spliced there with the, the seam. The mommy pocket has the bold interior. You have a zipper pocket, a bungee, and two mesh pockets. This pocket does have its own gusset, so it's pretty spacious actually. And then you have a second pocket right behind it, which is your tech pocket. It is soft lined, and that is where I put my phone. You have cargo pockets on both ends, which fit all of my water bottles, no problem. On the back, you have, well, you have a tag, <laughs> but there's a changing mat that comes with it, which is awesome because they're great for using as a picnic mat, craft mat. You know, I don't have a baby, but 
so many other ways I can use this or I can make other pouches and things out of it. Um, but this pocket is a snack pocket, but it's big, a big pocket. And your medium set pieces will fit back there as well. Okay, then you have the handle, which we're not gonna take off right now. This is not the messenger strap. It is the handle that comes with it, which is a padded middle and then it adjusts from both sides up. But inside, hopefully we can see inside well enough without undoing all of this. Um, yeah, inside you have a zipper pocket and two mesh. And on the opposite side, you have a zipper pocket side by side with the big mesh. So there you go. That is the Tokidoki Hobo Bee. Let me put everything back in its pockets. Yeah. So I was just smelling all the new things. Make sure they don't have a smell. Okay, last thing in C Punk. Well, I think it's the last thing. Uh, at least for today it is. <laughs> we have my very first B Sporty. Yay! Um, so the B Sporty obviously is a backpack. You can carry it also as a um, crossbody or shoulder bag. It's kind of big, so it would be kind of a, a good size bag. But it has a top carry handle. It has a snap flap. When you open that up, it does have a zipper there as well. So let's open this up. You have the flap type closure on it, so when you're not using it or if you want to leave it unzipped, you can just tuck those flaps down. There's the messenger strap. It's a seatbelt strap. That's awesome. Um, I mean, that it has a pad and everything. And it's removable. Inside, yeah, there's tags. Oh my gosh, tags everywhere. So inside, you have a big mesh pocket on the back that runs all the way across. And you have two smaller ones on the front divided by a seam. And that's pretty much it for the inside. It's actually pretty simple inside. Uh, oh, sorry, there is a zipper pocket on top as well. I had it covered by the zipper. So let me put all these strappy things back in here and zip it up. Oh my goodness, this tag is in the zipper. Okay. So, we'll close the top part. So that's the main pocket. And then on the sides, on each side, you have a zipper pocket that comes up and around, and they have the nice big Toki Doki Jujube zipper pulls. And each side is plenty big for all of my water bottles. I have not tried it yet, but I think even the um, larger Chuggies will fit there too, because it's quite tall. But that's a bold pink in there. All right, so both sides are the same. And then this bottom pocket, you have pocket on pocket. So you have a vertical zipper with a um, full size pocket across. I tend to not use those much and generally only for flat things because I don't like to stick my hand past those scratchy metal zippers. Um, they are a little bit scratchy, but they're not as bad as the Vera ones that we hate. Uh, hated, hated, hate still, anyway. And then the mommy pocket is actually very simple on this bag. I kind of wish it had a little bit more um, zipper just a little farther down on each side so that you could get into it a little better. But you have a mesh pocket on the, on the front side of it, up there, it's on the front. And on the back, you just have a zipper pocket. So it's pretty, pretty simple. But that pocket has quite a lot of gusset, so a lot of, a lot of pouches could fit in there or your wallet or whatnot. Okay, and then on the back, so the straps on this one are not padded, they're not mesh, they're just seat belts. They have a pretty good adjustability on them and they are completely removable. So you take the clip off the top and the bottom. Um, I haven't worn these yet, but everybody says they're pretty comfortable to wear. I think for a long day in a heavy bag, it might be a problem, but you know, for, for what I would use it for, it would be fine, totally fine. And then it also comes with a changing mat and a slip pocket on the back here. So you could put like a laptop in there or an, an, a tablet or whatnot. I mean, it's not a huge pocket and it might stick out the top, but it's a good, nice slip that goes all the way down. This pocket also has crumb corners or, you know, so if you had crumbs in there, they could come out the bottom of that pocket, which is kind of cool. All right, 
Yeah, let's look at this real quick because it'll give you a really good look at all the bits of the pattern, I think. Looks like it goes this way. Look at all the different characters. Okay, so it does definitely repeat, but I don't know how much laterally we've caught. That looks like the, uh, I don't know her name. We'll get to it because I have her name written down. And then there she is again. So it looks like it does wrap around. It's just colorful and fun. Yeah. Okay. That is it for Sea Punk. And Sea Punk is an older pattern. But on the same, oh man, I've got a big pile here and it's, it's like the leaning tower of Jujube over here. Okay, stay. Okay, so then I got another B set, because why I'm like addicted to B sets and uh, Tokidoki. So this one is um, Iconic 2.0. It has the Tokidoki diamond zipper pulls. And it is the three piece pouch set, but it just has all the characters like mush together in there it's kind of fun yeah we'll talk more about the characters when we get to a little bit later patterns but once again look at the inside hey purple yeah i, I do love purple um so there's your large set piece your medium set piece and it looks like i did get different placements so you can see some of the different characters on there and then you have your small set piece. And there you go, one, two, three. Yeah. So I don't have anything else at all in this pattern and I don't even feel like I need it. One, because it's an older pattern so it would be a little more expensive to acquire. But also, more importantly, just because these, are, these can go with any of my bags I already have. All right, anyways, I like it. And I like the colors of it. It has the small strap and the larger strap. And because this is an older, pattern it does not have an adjustable larger strap it's just straight and that's okay because honestly I probably won't even use the straps with it it's pouches okay this is not a pouch <laughs> this is the woven strap in rocky waters this is the one that came out with the newest round of chromatics so chromatics 3.0 and it has a different kind of clip on it. It's a very robust and it looks like kind of a gold. It's like in between a gold and rose gold almost it looks like to me. But then it has this faux leather ends to it and it says Jujube and it has these studs on it which if you look at the other side of it. The other side has stud, star, stud and they're all studs all the way through. So yeah, but it's a, just an adjustable strap. You can use it for a lot of different bags. Um, I'm just gonna leave it wrapped up until I decide to use it for something, but I definitely will because I have bags that can be um, shoulder bags, but that don't have a strap to do it. For example, well, we'll come back to it, but you could make the Super Bees into a crossbody strap as well. And that strap actually matches the, here, let's do it. I didn't want to top of my pile here, but let's do it. So here's your March of the Murlocs, and you have the end. The ends of it have these fabric loops here, so you could put a loop on there, like one of the quick release ones or something. But this, because this is so big and the nature of it, you could just clip that right through it, just directly on it. And look at how it matches. Let's see. I'm guessing it matches. Yeah, I would totally do that and call that a match. So that's just one example. And that's an older one with a newer, totally newer thing. So this is like your um, linen, water, and pebble colors, I think is what it's supposed to be. All right, so back in the pile of Merlocks. So then um, let's talk about this. This is um, an older item. I haven't seen them come out in any of the new, <clears throat> newer, or the, since I've come into Jujube, I haven't seen these released with any of the patterns. But this is the uh, be, be Charged in the pattern The Admiral. And it's basically a retired item because I haven't seen it. Maybe they'll bring it back. I kind of hope they do. They seem very popular. And I have a lot of these in the Vera style, so like the slim card cases. 
And this one has a little loop on the side so you can clip your keys onto it. You can clip a wristlet strap to it. You can do a lot of different things with that or nothing, just find how it is. But you have two card slots on this side, two on this side, and then you have the spot in the middle for more stuff. So it's not, it's, I don't know if it's RFID actually. This tag does not say, I don't know. But it's okay because I would put it inside a RFID pocket or inside something else. But you could stand alone or it could just carry your extra cards. <clears throat> Very versatile little piece. Anyways, and then we have the bee lights. So I'd gotten into the super bees and, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bunch of stuff now in Sakura and I really like this pretty floral um, pattern with these neutral tones in it and the rose gold fittings. So I just changed out of my hobo bee in this pattern. But I decided a bee light would be a great addition because I'm always grabbing, like all the time, when I leave the house, I carry a little tote like this. Um, not as my purse, I would totally carry this as a purse, but I carry one with, like with my, um, just whatever you're carrying out, like put my water bottle for the car or um, just carrying things back and forth or records or put a binder in it or put my planners and go plan somewhere, you know, whatever. But anyway, the Be Light is, it's a nice, it's a purse-sized tote. You can use it for everyday, all sorts of things. Just like the Super Bee, it also has those fabric loops. So you can actually carry that like crossbody and that would be a good purse-sized crossbody. So anyways, let's look at this. This one's Sakura at dusk and you have two slip pockets on the front. You can see the uh, rose gold plate on there. It has a nice straps, which have a really good strap drop. It just feels very comfortable to wear. Although, you know, I haven't tried it with stuff in it, but no pockets on the back. Zipper across the top, and there is one zipper pocket inside. That's it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And I'm going to leave this one on the table. Oh, no. no take that back. We've got a, oops, a few more, and I just want to keep one of the rose gold ones out. So the same exact bag, but in Prism Rose, another older pattern. I have a few items in this, including the Microtech, and so I thought, yeah, that's going to be perfect um, to match, and it also will match with the blacks and blacks and white stuff, too. But these little lines, they're, they're very faint pink and orange, so unless you look at it really close, you really can't differentiate that, but... It looks really nice and it matches with the rose gold fittings. The inside color is a beautiful blush pink. It's just a very, very light pink. All right, so that one I will leave on the table for a moment. But same bag in Tokidoki in Camp Toki. This is, I would have to say because of the colors, if nothing else, this has been my favorite Tokidoki print. It also was the first one that I bought, so I'm bonded to it now forever and ever. <laughs> but it's just so fun. It's like outdoorsy, and it reminds me of camping growing up as a kid because we tent camped a lot. And Now I go glamping in my RV. Sorry, this piece of hair is just it needs to grow out faster. Um, and then the inside is a light purple on this one. But it's awesome. I really, so I have a few. I bought one, two, three, five of these. Yeah, but in all patterns I will use and it matches other bags I have. So this one is Queen of the Nile. And you know, Queen of the Nile has come out twice now. The first time it came out with like a gold interior and the second time it came out with a silver interior. I bought this from the recent set on, and I bought it on GGB, so it is the recent one with the silver interior, which is the one I prefer. And it's okay that it has silver inside and gold fittings outside, that doesn't bother me at all. So when you look at Queen of the Nile from old and new, you really can't tell just by looking at it, whether it's the old or the new, you have to open it inside and look. And, and I like that they match because some of the styles didn't come out twice. Okay, the last one that I got is in, Galaxy, which is a much more recent pattern, but it is on sale right now. So, uh, yeah, and I'd heard things about it, and I'd, I'd hesitated on it. it. It was something I like, but because, hello, it's purple. Purples and blues, and I just really like it with the different colors. Um, but I have kind of mixed feelings about it from the beginning and even now. 
I'm glad I got just the pieces I wanted and I'm very happy with the choices I made. But um, it kind of like sometimes, depending on the pattern placement and the lighting, sometimes it looks kind of like, it, here this looks beautiful, but sometimes it looks like it got bleach spilled on it or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like it though. And it, depending on which pattern placement you get, you get a different mix of the lighter parts, the darker parts. You get some of the pinks coming into it, etc. I, I do like it. And it actually has these really cool zipper pools, which is the ringed planet. I, I don't know why people don't call it Saturn. I guess it's, I don't know, is that a copyright term or, or it's whatever. It looks like Saturn to me. And the inside of this is uh, light blue. It's lovely. Anyway, so that is B light number five. And we're getting out of B lights and on to galaxy stuff. So here we have the little mini BFF. I just adore these cute little crossbody grab and go. You can use it as an organizer inside a bigger bag or as a standalone, you know, put your wallets and stuff inside. Um, like your coin purses will fit in the front, your small set pieces will fit in the main part. It's a pretty good size. It's like tiny but mighty kind of a bag. And I love the handle. On the back, you can use the strap that comes with it to make a backpack using those loops. But I'm really planning to use it with the crossbody loops, use it as a crossbody. So the bag has a slip pocket on the back and then these two pockets on the front. So you have the main pouch right here, which you open it up. There's your seatbelt strap that is adjustable, by the way. And you have a mesh pocket. But like I said, it's gusseted and it just it holds a lot of stuff. And then on the front, you have one more pocket that is just a, a cute little front pocket. And like the Be Charged fits just perfectly inside of there. So yeah, you can put that and a coin purse and you're good to go. You have a wallet. In the tiny size, yeah. So on those minimal days, which in COVID, you know, this is completely wipeable and, and washable and yeah. And since it's so compact, perfect. Okay. Next item, the B set, because I love B sets, and because purple, I love purple, yeah. So it's purple with silver fittings. You do have the ringed planet on both zipper pulls on the large piece. These are quite nice. I mean, they're kind of, they're flat, but they're wide, and so you really can get a hold of them. It's interesting shape. Um, inside, of course, you have, same as all the other sets, but I just wanna look at the placement here. So I think I got a good mix of the lights and darks. That one, that one really looks like it got something. But yeah, so when you mix and match them together and you can like build your own little galaxy <laughs> from the galaxies. Yeah, and then it comes with, of course, bowl straps, the short one and the long one. Just like all the other B sets. And as a reminder, um, in case you're not familiar, when the zippers come together, the big, the large set piece, you can lock that because it makes that loop right there that you can lock if you need to for whatever reason. And last piece in Galaxy, we're moving on to the MIDI because I love purse backpacks. Love, love, love them in all brands. I have them in all brands now. And um, this one has a nice big pocket on the front, no organization, but a nice big gusset there. And then you have double zipper on the top. Inside you have a zipper pocket, you have a big slip, and then on the front of that slip, you have two more slips down here, and they're elastic on there. And nothing on the front of the bag, but it is a pretty good size bag, not huge. Um, a little bit bigger than the Mini B's, which I'm using right now as my purse. But yeah, it does have cargo pockets on the side, both sides, and it has seat belt straps. Now some people have talked about having an issue with, the, because this is sewn down like this, that these um, rectangular metal pieces cut into their back. I haven't had that happen yet because I have not used one that has that like that yet. But if, if you're wondering, the newer versions, they're not tacked down like that, so I think they're better from what I hear. And, and we'll look again at that um, on the next bag. Because the next bag is also a midi, but this one is special. It's special for 
several reasons. Um, one is I got it for free. Woohoo! I love free. Um, well, not totally free. I had to use my rewards points to get it, and it took like 10,000 rewards points. But that's the only way you can get this bag is through that, that rewards program. You can't buy this bag. Um, so I thought, well, yellow is really not my thing, but with all the gray and, and white and black, um, well, it's really not black actually, just gray and white. I thought, yeah, okay, Pantone, these are the colors of the year. I don't know who that is or why I should care what they say for that, but that's what everybody is spouting off about it. And that's fine, I respect that. You know, I'm not a fashionista, so why would I know that kind of thing? But this has really grown on me. So this is Tweeting Pretty, um, as I think it's a re-release of an older thing or a tweak of an older thing that kind of matched. Um, frankly, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I just, it grew on me and I wanted another midi. Um, and I ended up getting a bunch more, but anyways. <laughs> so this one has a sewn on tag instead of the plate and it has a little blingy star right there. I mean, it doesn't have a jewel in it, but it's a little metallic star for Jujubee. Um, it has also this special zipper pool, 15 years. So it's 15 in the middle, 2005 to 2020. So again, that's another reason it was special. It's an anniversary thing. Um, but midi wise, it's basically the same. You have your pockets on the side, you have your handle on the front. Another special thing about this bag is these straps because you have the woven strap. So it is a more robust strap than the other ones. And obviously it's colorful and I, I really like, you know, the yellow's growing on me, I tell you, it really is. It's so bright and happy and I like happy for sure. Um, but as you can see on the bottom of these, they're no longer tacked down on the bed. So that allows the strap to angle to different places depending on the body shape and the strap tightness and all of that. Um, there you can really get a look at the pattern too. It's just floral trees, birds. Um, inside here, both zipper pulls on the double pull are also the same. And inside there's a little bit of a pattern to it. So it's jujubee and stars. And it has the old jujubee, the jujubee, and then the newer jujubee signature. Um, yeah, and that's slicky. And this feels padded on the front. I don't know if this bag, I don't know if that's supposed to be like insulation. It feels like the be cool padding. That's interesting. But configuration wise, it's the same. Zipper, big slip, two small slips on the front. The other thing that's different about the bag, um, and I don't know if, yeah, see, it's bigger, it's a bigger version, so it's thicker here. This one is thinner, and this one's thicker, I think, because um, this one's an older version, and all the newer ones are thicker. So, I'm not going to bust out a measuring thing right now, but there you go. Yay! So, the midi backpack, great for a purse, great for small outings, day trips, whatever. Um, I also got the B set because I have to have pouches to match all of my bags. Um, so I have blacks and whites and other colors, but um, I didn't have any grays and yellows, and so I had to get this. Oh, I take that back. I have Pebble. So Pebble, I think, will match nicely with this, um, but now I have the actual matchy-matchy sometimes I like to matchy matchy and this one has the same interior as the backpack same three pieces all that that we've just seen that's a pretty good pattern placement I think on both the front and the back yeah and again for whatever reason on this version they have this sewn on tag I don't have a problem with it either way just an observation yeah so before I put that too far away I saw on oh was this Amazon I think it was Amazon. I was searching for something else and I saw this pop up and I had already ordered these. They had not arrived yet, but I thought, oh, pouches that match. Um, so here's the thing. This is the Bee Snacky. It is a Jujubee collaboration with Cheerios. Yeah, Cheerios. But check out the color match on this. It's perfect. And sometimes I prefer to mixy matchy. So now you have some color coordinated things that can go together. And this is a two pack snack bundle, 
Machine washable, reusable, crumb catchers, versatile pouch, great for any occasion. Okay, but let's see. Okay, so the Bee Snacky is basically two little waterproof bags that you can use for anything. You know, you can put pencils or pens, you can put snacks in here. Um, yeah, so it has a very wipeable inside. If you're watching my videos or you're familiar, the Vera Bradley Pencil Pouch Trio, this is kind of like that. It's that thin nylon type feel, except this is, you know, waterproof. And then inside it has this like plastic part way down. And I guess that's to keep it from the crumbs coming out the zipper when you're using it, I guess. It seems like it because it goes all the way around. That must be the crumb catcher. Anyway, it's a great size little pouch. And it, I'm so excited this matches really, really well. Also, it says on it, all of these loops, I guess the little circles are probably the Cheerios. But it says around each of them, be original, be you, be happy, be bold. That was confirmation as if I needed it, that <laughs> happy, happy. So that was a small one for snacky stuff. And then this actually will fit a full size sandwich or other snacks or trinkets or things. But yay. Um, I also just bought a BFF in this pattern. And that will be my very first BFF. But since I just ordered it today, uh, we won't have it for a while. But I already have some things to go with it. Yay. Happy, happy. Okay. <laughs> now we're getting to the good stuff. I mean, this is all great stuff. Trust me. But this last week or whatever, we had the release of the Kawaii Carnival, which is Jujubee's latest collaboration with Tokidoki. And they hyped it. They hyped it significantly for the last several weeks. And I, I kept seeing pictures of it. And I thought, yeah, it's pretty. I'll get a B set to go with all my other Tokidokis. And I thought that was going to be it. I really did. But then I started seeing more pictures. And the colors are far, far more vivid than I had thought originally. And now that I see it in person, it really, really is much brighter. And I really like it, even though I'm not a pinky person. So here goes the first item. Um, well, actually, before we get to that, <laughs> we stand by. Um, well, y'all fast forward, I know you will, but um, before I go into it, so I was waiting and based on my CMO release experience, which I thought was because I got there two weeks late and everything had sold out and I had to go find it on Tokidoki. Well, I'm glad I knew that from that experience because day of, we knew that it was releasing on the 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific. So I was on the computer 15 minutes prior, logged into my Jujubee, ready to order. I got the couple of items I wanted into my cart and I, uh, right then the computer was slowing down so it was taking a while to get to the cart. And then my power went out. Like the whole area of town went out. And so by the time I immediately picked up my phone and because it had slowed down, I knew there was activity on the web. And um, by the time I got on, it was already sold out. There was no B sets. I was like, what? That was super fast. Like we're talking two minutes, maybe it, they were gone. And so right away, I went over to Tokidoki and ordered it there. Now it has not arrived yet, but I haven't got any kind of cancellation or oversell notice. So I'm hoping that in about three to five days, it will be here because my other Tokidoki just arrived today and I ordered it five days first. Anyway, that was the end of the story time. Um, so I did order a couple things on Tokidoki and then I did go back to Jujubee and there were a couple more items and I decided that, my gosh, if it's this popular, I might need more of it because again, I have an outlet with my nieces to hand it off to if I decide I didn't like it. Anyway, so I've got a midi backpack. We've just seen a whole bunch of them. It is the newer style. So the back, you know, you have your pink seatbelt straps, but they're not tethered on there. They're not anchored. I mean, they're tethered, they're sewn to the bag, but they're not sewn to the back part here. Um, the tags themselves are even more colorful. Look at the bright, colorful tags for Kauai Carnival. Um, but the midi itself is the same. Um, it does come with special zipper pulls. And on this one, I got, um, I think this is Tiger Mom. Yeah, so Tiger Mom on the midi. And we'll see what comes on the rest of them. The interior of this 
And these fittings are like the gold, rose gold looking. The interior is kind of a peachy, orangey color with all the Tokidoki. And it has this admit one, like your carnival tickets and your zipper. It's the same configuration, but there's your pattern. Um, yeah, so now let's talk pattern itself before we move on to smaller items and other items. So it's a carnival, right? So you have your Ferris wheel, you've got a uh, carousel, you've got all these different characters. You got mozzarella dressed in her kimono, you got unicorns, you got boba critters, you got myrmicorns. I don't know all these characters' names. Um, but then, you know, down here, you've got, uh, it's the honey bear, uh, sweet, sweet bear or something. Honey bear, um, there's mozzarella again. We've got this cute little chicky here. We've got Sandy, the cactus. Yeah, so I, I, I feel like I got really good placement. Yes, it duplicates, but it shifts. So I think I got it, you know, a little more of the pattern. Um, I generally would have preferred to have all different stuff or something centered, but honestly, the way it falls, it, it doesn't cut off too much where the seams and tags are. Um, on the back, I have a different part of the scenes. So on this one, you can see more of the roller coaster right in the middle. And you got Biscotti and Biscatini and all the other, there's Tiger Mom, the same as the zipper pull. Um, ah, baby Kaiju, I really like Baby Kaiju. And then you have Sneaky Snack right here. You got Rainbow Ice, the new characters there. Yeah, Sandy. Super cute, they're adorable, they really are. So just look at the colors, it's so bright and happy. Very pink, very pale pink. I'm surprised that they would put pink on the outside and then put that orangey peachy on the inside. But when you look at the pattern itself, it does kind of make sense. Anyways, so um, enough about that piece. I also got the mini BFF because I'm in love with this particular style. This one came with the mozzarella with the mozzarella zipper pull, and it looks just like the on the thing. The other zipper pull is a Ferris wheel on one side and then Tokidoki Jujube on the other side. But pattern placement wise, I got the top of the carousel tent, which is fine. There's a little chicky. We got a, a unicorn with tulips. I don't know who that is. Unfortunately, Sandy got her head cut off, and that is probably the worst part about this pattern placement, but it's not that bad all in all considering i mean i got you even can see the ferris wheel so you know where you are and on the side i've got like a perfectly centered little character and then opposite side i also got a couple of good characters that are not cut off they're totally intact a bunch of them actually we got milk we got the little bobas we got the baby bottle and then oh, i'm sorry i don't know all their names but anyways so there you go I will put some pictures of the carnival ones will be on my thumbnail. So uh, you've already seen that if you clicked on this video, but there you go. Now, I did not initially order the midi because I was like, I have a bunch of midis, including the special one that, you know, who'd have thought that I'd pull a yellow and gray, but I had originally ordered the B packed because I don't have any B packs. This is my very first one. And I thought, well, why not get it in a pattern I don't have? And so that way I would have had my B set, my mini BFF, and a backpack to carry stuff around in. That was to me the perfect mix. Um, but then when I got it, I kind of looked at it and I love the bag and the configuration, but the pattern gets a little bit choppy because of the way with all these different seams and the pocket and the, everything. So I went back and ordered a midi too. So I was like, well, I love the midis and I'm loving this pattern. So I, I got that too. Yeah, so I did add that on. Um, okay, but enough blah blah blah. The B packed is slightly bigger than the midi. As you can see, they're just their heights. Um, depth wise, I think they're pretty comparable. Width wise, the B packed is a little bit wider as well. So it's taller and wider in that direction. Um, they both have um, cargo pockets on the side. This one, though, you can see it has ergonomic padded straps, and both the straps and the back are meshed and quilted, so they're padded and breathable. 
that's pretty huge for me. Um, it does have these kind of fittings on the backpack. So if you watched my What's in My Bag just recently with the Duchess and how I had to put the snaps on there to keep these straps from working themselves out because they will, trust me. So they just, they work themselves loose just by virtue of the way they are. So I'll probably will put a snap on this one as well, depending on how it sizes. So I'll figure that out later. It does have a nice top carry handle and it's not just a seatbelt one. It's got a nice robust wrap around fitting there. It also has a top pocket there, which is your tech pocket, soft lined. You want to see that again from the inside in a moment. This pocket on the front is very simple. It's hooded, so you have some extra vertical there. But it has two mesh pockets in there, right here, and that's it. It's just, but it's pretty, pretty big gusset to it. And then inside the main pouch, double zipper pull, and those are both Ferris wheel zipper pulls. So on the front you have a zipper pocket and then on the back you have a big elastic slip and then it's pretty much just open inside. There you go. I'm just going to leave that tied right there. And then we'll look real quick at the pattern placement before we move on. Um, on the straps in the back, I mean I've got the biscotti and biscottina and I've got some of the crystals as part of the roller coaster, I've got the bobas. Got the strawberry selfie down here on the carousel, and then I have a little popcorn. Yeah, so pretty good mix, very colorful. And then on the front, this time, and I'm really, really happy that I did get different pieces because this one has more of the roller coaster on it, whereas the other one has more Ferris wheel and carousel. So that's really cool. So here's a different part of the kind of a duplicate again, but doesn't look duplicated. <laughs> But I do have part of the carousel, Donatella, and then, I'm sorry, I meant Ferris wheel. Carousel's down here, though. I do have part of the carousel. Yeah, so lots of cute, it's going to take me a while. Every time I look at these, I find cute, adorable little different figures in different settings and whatnot. So, so I got one, two, three, four pieces in the Kauai Carnival. All right. But speaking of Tokidoki, since I was over there on the Tokidoki site, I had already, in advance of the release, I had bought some Tokidoki stuff from Tokidoki. So this is not Jujube, this is just Tokidoki. It's not a collaboration, but a nice big backpack, which I did not even realize they sold. But this is in the Toki Fest pattern. Any guesses why I would choose this one, besides it's adorable? <laughs> it's purple. And it matches, I have a couple of pieces already in this pattern that I had initially just gotten a couple little things but then I loved it and I definitely wanted more so here we are with the big Toki Fest so it's a party scene it's a nighttime you got a little bit of the water you got fireworks you got this peacock unicorn thing oh they're so cute yeah so all the same characters but in a different scene now these are metallic zippers which is not my favorite but they are pretty smooth I admit um, so this front pocket is pretty well gusseted and hooded, so you can get in there. There's no organization in it. And it has these little Tokidoki zipper pulls. And they're different size, so that one's a little smaller, and here's the one on the main bag. But it's that little heart crossbones thing. Okay, so normally a big bag would have a double zipper pull. This one just has a single... Again, that's okay, just not my favorite preference. But it's a pretty simple bag. It just has one big slip, but it's a full-size backpack. I mean, it has a little bit of a semi-rigid bottom, and this has got like that padding in it, just like the uh, Tweeting Pretty Midi did. But that's it. It's pretty simple. There are no side cargo pockets, which kind of sucks, though. It has a top carriage handle, which is a seatbelt strap. And the back, the straps are not really ergonomic. They're just very straightforward, but they are padded and printed. And the bottom has a normal backpack fitting, not the ones that are gonna work themselves out. And the other thing I will say about it is the seatbelt straps are not just plain seatbelts. They have that, it says Tokidoki on it. It's like embedded in there, in the, in the weave. And so that's really kind of a nice touch, very cool. 
and they're pretty robust. The back side of it is just straight seatbelt looking, but it's not slicky slicky. It's a little more sort of a canvas cottony feel to it too. It's like a mix, but, but yeah, super fun. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a party and, and whatnot. So that's the Tokidoki Toki Fest. And I did get some more things in this pattern because I, I'm in love with this pattern. <laughs> All right. The next item I got here, let me read the names off here. This is the Toki Fest Crossbody. Toki Festa. Sorry, I've been saying it wrong. Toki Festa Crossbody. The pool girl's here. Kelly's got to go bark at her. Sorry if that's annoying you. She's outside, but she's right there. Okay. Anyway, so it's a cute crossbody. It's um, kind of like a small ranger. Uh, not small, it's like in between the ranger and the can-can for you lug nuts out there. Uh, but look at the colors, it's just so cool. Um, and the purple edge up here, this is like a metallic purple, which is a nice touch. Down here we have the zipper pocket and no organization, but it does have some space to it. Um, and I got a wallet, and I already checked the wallet fits in here across. It's not RFID or anything, though, so that's unfortunate. You, go lay down. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use my mean voice. Ah. Lay down. Yeah, she's just going to be that. She just does not. It, she likes the pool girl, but she does not like the pole that she always has in her hand. <laughs> hey, go lay down. Huh? Come here. Come on. Yeah, no, not on the table. Yeah, that's my girl. Hey, but she does not like that pole. Yeah, she doesn't like the pole. Go on. Now go lay down or go under there. That's fine. Sorry. Okay. Um, but the inside, it really doesn't have much organization. It just has one slip on the back wall. And the strap is just like those backpack straps, except just wider, but it has that toki doki in the in the pattern there. So really cool. No, no pockets on the back or anything, but just another look at the pattern. With all the characters, yay. Oh, and the straps are not removable on this one, but they do have metal rings so you can clip things on on both sides, if you so desire, and I do desire. <laughs> uh, but then you have a mini Toki Festa, mini crossbody. So side by side, you can see the similar style of bag, um, but it's about two thirds the size of the bigger one. Um, and this one does have removable strap on it. So here's the strap that comes off with gold fittings. Um, but the same basic style, it has a slip in the back. This one is a mesh instead of the solid material. There's your thickness, it's about almost two inches. And then it has a front pocket as well. Not quite as smooth a zipper on that one, but just the same. So pretty simple. And some of these other things that we're gonna get to I think we'll fit in here. Let me jump ahead real quick. Ah, it fits. Okay, good. We'll come back with that other piece. All right. The last item for Toki Festa is the long wallet. And this is it's a trifold wallet. So very similar to the Be Rich in a way, except it doesn't have all the card slots. It has the other thing in the middle. So it has an outside zipper, and there's a big look at the full pattern. But inside, when you open it up, this is great. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card slots. The bottom one is your clear ID window. There are two big slots here. And then above it, you have the, the coin zip, which is this really cool, like, metallic purple material. It's like a faux leather feel to it, but look at that purple. So cool. Um, yeah, so you have that, and then you have a gusseted cash drawer behind it. So I probably would put my cash in there because I could access it. I've got my coins, and then I've got my other stuff there. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But you can bet that I'm going to put all this together and have a Toki Festa setup coming soon. Okay. Now, um... Before we go to the rest of the Toki Doki, let's look at some bath and body works. Like time out, shift gears. Yeah, I needed another bunch of hand sanitizers, so I got on Bath and Body Works was having a sale, and I took a look, and I grabbed some nifty things. All has to do with hand sanitizers. Um, so I got this one. 
It's a succulent. It's a little planter. It's a desk hand sanitizer. I mean, is that so cute? Um, yeah, so I put hand sanitizer in there. You just flip it open on the bottom, spray your stuff. And I put Treat Joe Elf. Snow-kissed citrus is the, uh, the scent in there. And I already had that, but anyways, I just I got that. I'm just going to leave it right here. You can all adore my little succulent. But I also got these ones because I wanted, I needed more actual sanitizers, but then I saw all these cute little things. So this one is, what is this one called? Seashell Soulmates. So the teal and the pink with glitter and they're magnetized actually. So right there, see like the, I don't know. If you hang them both on the same bag, I don't know why you need two on the same bag next to each other, but they are magnetized. Only on that side, which is kind of funny, but it's cute. But I thought these would match really nicely with Kawaii Carnival. So there you go. There's the, the teals in the pattern right there, like that mint color. Yeah, it definitely does match. And then, of course, the pink one matches. Hello. So these are perfect. And in here, I put Fresh Sparkling Snow. Is that one? And this one is marshmallow pumpkin latte. I didn't have a pink pink, so anyways. My little seashells. Okay. And then I got, I have Slay All Day, Merry Cherry Cheer. I got a pineapple case. This one's different too. It's on the side. I kind of wish that it was not in the middle because it, it will hang crooked the whole time. But it's like this silicone thing and then the top pops open. So I'm trying not to open the thing inside. There we go. So the top pops open and then inside you have your thing. And then this one is coconut pumpkin latte. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, you could, you could use it for other things. You probably could put your earbuds in there instead of a hand sanitizer. I don't have that kind of thing, but yeah. So anyways, it just pops closed. And there you go. Cute. Cute. I'm sure I can find some place to put that. Like on my, um, my pineapple toucan party from Vera Bradley factory style stuff. It's kind of what I was thinking when I got that. And then I got these two. Um, so these ones are just like a little pouch. They're rose gold or gold fittings on them. They're little rubber pouches, which is so perfect because again, you can use it for other things, not just hand sanitizer. But this one has a snap, like snap and flap. And inside I have Japanese cherry blossom because that's what I put in there. Because it looked like um, it would match with my Sakura one really well. And in fact, well, I'm not going to dig through the pile on top of anything. This is already going long. So there it is. And then I got the same thing in a black with just like a woven look to it. And that's it for those. I also got these metal quick release loops. I've got these before from Amazon. I got them in silver before, but now I have gold and I have rose gold on the way. But these I was thinking I could use, for example, we'll take the B light and hook them on. Now these are not the rose gold ones, but you get the idea anyways. Hook them onto like the Super B or the B light. And now I have a place to hang that hand sanitizer right on there. So ta-da, that's what I'm gonna do. And I will match the, the fittings, obviously, when the other ones get here. So that's how I'm gonna use those. You, go lay down. Oh, barky, barky. Okay, so now, if you order from Tokidoki, I said this before, you will get a bunch of stickers. So I'm just gonna flash through these. Again, I don't know all their names anyways. I'm shedding, sorry, my tickles. So that's a, looks like a ramen. Then I got this unicorn. Most of these I don't have yet. I got two of those though. I got a lot of duplicates this time in the same pack. I got two of the tiger surfer. And then I got two of this one. Uh, I don't know, don't know the names. So I have this collection. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here. 
and call this part one. And then part two, we'll get into all the other stuff. So thanks for watching. Be right back with part two. Bye for now.